hi guys welcome to another episode of monique's if you are new to my channel my name is moyo sorry and this channel is called monique's where we talk about everything that has to do with life so we talk about everything no boundaries here uh, i just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers and new subscribers thank you guys for your support thank you for believing in me and thank you for always coming back to watch all my videos and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel you have the opportunity to do that today please subscribe either before you watch or after you watch this video so we need to get into the video right away and i'm sure so many of you are already wondering what is monique's up to don't worry just hang in there sit down and enjoy today's topic it's actually a topic to enjoy but it's a lot more deep topic so i want everyone to pay rapt attention because this is a critical issue we need to discuss so the first question i have to ask every one of us listening to me is this are you a side chick become a side chick in the year 2021 so that you can afford the baby girl lifestyle and all the luxury that 2021 has in store for us all so um i need to make something clear when i say side chick i'm talking about side chicks who are involved with married men i'm not talking about side chicks who are involved in relationships that are yet to culminate in marriage we are not talking about those ones so we are talking about side chicks who are involved with married men okay uh, let me just show you see i have my computer here because i took a lot of notes and i did some research so that i will be able to talk effectively on this topic and then i must also um, establish the fact that this um, topic is just about me asking questions. I don't have answers. So I feel like the right way to approach this topic is not to come here and judge anyone and say, oh, this is bad. Don't do this. Don't do that. No, I want you to be the one to ask yourself these questions and also answer the questions. So before you answer the question, think deeply, think thoroughly. To ensure that um, we are on the same page, I need to define who a side chick is. So from my research, I'm going to read from my computer. So a side chick is a mistress or a woman one dates in addition to one's wife, usually in secret. A woman who does fun and exciting things with another's spouse and more importantly, engages in intimate sexual activities with another's spouse. So if you are still unsure whether you are a side chick from this definition, there is this test <laughs> that I usually say that people should conduct. You know, the way um, we use SPSS and then we conduct a series of tests, you know, we conduct the ANOVA, you conduct the chi-square, all those kind of tests. But in this case, dealing with side chicks, the main test and the most crucial test you need to conduct is to ask yourself one simple question. And the simple question is this. you are involved with is he married does he have a wife so if you answer yes to any of these questions and you are still luxing with this man twisting and turning bending forward and backward within then you are a side chick that's the truth so um the reason why i am talking about this topic today and the reason why i have all of these questions are about 12 questions to ask everyone watching is because these questions and um, the answers you provide to them will enable you to know whether to proceed with your side chick business or to retrace your steps. So let's get into the questions. Number one, why are you comfortable with being a side chick? Is it that you don't believe in yourself or don't believe that a single or married man can love and appreciate you for who you are? That's the first question next how do you feel when your married boyfriend posts his family's picture on his status whether instagram status whether whatsapp status showering praises on his wife and kids does it rub the wrong way on you does it pain you does it pepper you do you feel like i can't be posting this kind of pictures why is he saying he loves his wife and then he comes back to tell me he loves he loves me why is he do you sleep this? well at night knowing that that human teddy bear you are holding on to your chest isn't yours so 
if you're sleeping at night you know of course with this person and then you wake up in the middle of the night and your mind is judging you you are feeling bad you are feeling like hey what am i doing am i doing wrong is this thing good is this okay is this right think about this question next do you ever wonder how your name is saved on his phone you know this trended um sometime in 2015 or when someone was banned saved um a side chick's name on his phone as edible catering that trended for a while so are you that kind of person who someone saves a number as edible catering edible arrangements organ mechanic car repair how does it make you feel answer the question next how do you feel knowing that spending time and sharing emotional connection with another woman's husband will likely raise that woman's blood pressure will you be happy if that woman dies from a heart attack because of you will you be happy to be the cause of another woman's death you know this woman is married to her husband you are living happily and all of a sudden you're just popping into the marriage and before you know it everything turns upside down the woman develops a high blood pressure and you know this time time she dies do you want that to happen all because of you answer the question so the next is do you feel comfortable being a source of pain in people's homes are you a modern day i hear matanga did jesus send you to the world to become an i am matanga in some people's lives is it your mission in life to destroy homes answer the question next do you ever think of the saying that what goes around comes around you know that um if you do well there's this general saying that good things will happen to you as well so today if you see a poor man on the road you help the poor man nobody knows the future something might happen to you three years down the line maybe you suddenly become broke or you you run out of business or something bad just happens but because of the favor you render to people when you had a lot of money god might send helpers to you at a time of your need so what goes around comes around because you have helped someone in the past help will come your way in the future when you need help so imagine right now you're a side chick you know twisting and bending forward and backward doing roller coaster business with someone else's husband today you're a side chick and tomorrow you're married happily married three years down the line with three killed kids or two killed kids or one killed kid and then all of a sudden your husband begins to misbehave people begin to send you text messages at ad they saw your husband at one beer parlor with a chick how would you feel if that is what you want it's left to you so answer the question Let's move on to the next question so the next is why do you want to settle for less when you can get more trust me if you i'm not advising i'm just saying if you are a side chick you are not getting the full benefits because you are not in the home you are not enjoying all the benefit that comes with being the woman in the home so you are shortchanging yourself sort of so why would you want to settle for less when you can get more when you can be the madam of the house when you can be the one to control the kitchen you know control the bedroom you know control the sitting room control the prayer session control you know when you can control so many things why would you want to just you know take a piece of the apple are you apple logo <laughs> next question um do you think it's worth it sneaking around and living in constant fear of being caught by the owner okay this is very easy to explain you know as for those who are married you know the way you are very free in the other room with your spouse you can do whatever you like you can do whatever styles you can jump up throw roll on the floor you know you can do so many things but if you are doing this thing with someone else's husband i don't know how you feel you know i don't know if you feel comfortable i don't know if you keep watching your back to see if somebody is watching you or if there's some eyes monitoring your movements monitoring your activities while they're in the room with that man do you understand so why do you want to live in constant fear because you know that that person is not your own so you cannot even do the thing freely on jisheni so is that what you want answer the question so the next have you ever thought of the challenges that may come your way and that of your future generation because you are taking from where you did not sow 
this is self-explanatory so if you are deciding this year early this year that you want to be a side chick you want to cash out you know like that song cash out cash out roll out who's in boots you know <laughs> if that's what you want to do with someone else's husband remember the future remember the challenges that will come with this later in life there's one final question above all do you think god will be pleased with you being a side chick if your creator will not be pleased with you why do you want to go into it or do you think your creator will be happy with you being a side chick is that what he created you guys for? these are all the questions i have and like I earlier said i don't have answers to these questions and i'm trying not to advise and i'm trying not to impose my own position on you know the business of being a side chick it's not for me to answer all those questions it's for each of us ladies whether married or single to think about all those questions to help us determine whether to move forward with a side chick business or to retrace ourselves i pray that the holy spirit helps us in answering all of these questions and we make the right decision in the year 2021 so guys that is all i have for you on today's episode of mornings yes back to um the need for you to subscribe i'm actually happy because we have actually grown a little bit you know um november last year i think we were um around 190 subscribers or 180 subscribers but now i'm happy to tell you that we have moved on to the 200 plus subscribers 200 plus subscribers so we can grow we can do this um imploring all of you to do your best by sharing my videos sharing the links to all the videos that you like and also subscribe you know share 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 like one of my pastors will say share 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 <laughs> and i pray the lord blesses you as you share the link to my channel so we'll see you again it's bye for now from your girl